Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 11th and 12th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Capricorns. Hello, my Capricorns. How are you? Well, this is a Wednesday-Thursday reading, so I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like to leave the rest, okay? Full moon is, well, it depends on where you live. It will either be September 13th or it will be September 14th. So to give you an idea, if you live in, and this is the United States, Eastern Standard Time, it will be around 12.38 um, a.m. on the 14th. If you li live Central Standard Time, Central Stand Savings Times, yeah, we're in Daylight Savings Time, but so Central Savings Time, or Pacific or Mountain, well, I should say Mountain or Pacific, it will be Friday the 13th. Either way, this energy, this is Pisces, it's very clearing and cleansing energy, it's very good. Um, it can be very emotional energy, but you know, I, may, I say make use of it three days before, three days after. I kind of like the day before, the day of, and the day after, but um, either way, it's. I feel it's gonna be a pretty strong uh, full moon. Okay, so let's go on and see what Wednesday and Thursday is all about. I have posted an article about it on my Facebook page too. Okay, one, two, and three. Three cards face down. The first and the third are reversed. So let's see what we have here. First card reversed, the five of Gabriel. Now Gabriel is our fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And this is kind of you know, passionate, it's very burning energy, and this is, this is something, I feel like something is stuck, you know, stuck in your, you know, in your, you know, your, the words, are you holding the words back, or, you know, stuck in your stomach a little bit, I'm feeling like this is kind of a, um, oh, there's so much you want to say, there's just so much you want to say, and maybe you want to say it, and maybe you feel maybe I should say it, but you're holding yourself back from saying it. I just feel this is that type of energy, okay? It's like you just want to clear the air because it just, you know, it's like, you know, this very righteous part of you. And, and, I'm, not, and I, I'm not thinking that this is self-righteous. I'm thinking this is a very, like, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, and you just want to speak it out. So this is a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. I will say I do, that patience with yourself and those around you, it's like, oh, I just want to say it. I just want to. Okay, next card. <laughs> I love, you know, you know, oh, this is a good card, isn't it? You know how much I love my Capricorn. So yeah, I can see this. But this is the nine of Raphael. Raphael in this deck is our water energy. It's our Cancer energy, our Pisces and our Scorpio energy. Now we are coming up to that full moon. So, you know, that, you know, that's going to be in Pisces, a water sign. But the nine of Raphael is all about make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time in life. So except for whatever this is, you know, maybe this is your, your, Maybe what's happening is maybe you're not going to necessarily say it, but there's going to be some action on your part. There's going to be some of this. There, I, I really feel there's going to be this thing of, no, no, we, we need to go. We need to go into a better direction. We need to make this right. This needs to be right. Okay, so I think that your energy is going to be put towards that. Now, let's not discount this, though. Let's just hold on to this and say, you know what, my Capricorns have... You know, basically, we've got this big full moon. Remember, release, relinquish, request. Go ahead and make some requests with this full moon, okay? Okay. Next card is, and this is the one reversed also, Six of Raphael. Okay, again, this is our water energy. And this is embracing your inner child, new friends or rekindled ch relationships, children or childhood. So, you know, whatever this is, you know, many times over in our other deck, this is kind of that nostalgic card, but this one's actually being more into the present. This is more, this is saying a little bit more of, you know, 
it, this is this is having a little more fun. So whatever this is, whatever the action is that you're going to be taking, because may, and maybe you are going to be saying your what needs to be said, but but I feel like it's kind of stuck there right now because you're just kind of thinking, if I if I say it, you know, I could blow I could blow all relationships, but you know, between these two cards, I feel like you might kind of take a you might have a regrouping you might kind of take maybe not i'm not going to say a step back per se but your mind which is you know and i know these aren't air cards but you know your mind which is going all the time it's like you're going to see a different way to you're going to see a different way to give the message without it necessarily coming from your mouth i hope that makes sense but this is again too it's always good advice to embrace our inner child Sometimes, my Capricorns, you hold so much on your shoulders that you forget um, how to have a fun. You know, I'm not saying that you, I think that even when you go out to have fun, um, you know, if you're going out with a bigger group, you're always kind of like, okay, I'm going to have, we're going to have fun today. Okay, got to make sure that one has fun, that one has fun. You know, you do take a little bit of the responsibility off of the people. Just had to say that. And I think that you need to know that it's okay for you to have a fun time. But whatever this is, just be careful of whatever this energy is about. Because for the most part, I mean, my goodness, you have the wish card. You have the wonderful wish card. I don't see this come up too much in this deck. And you have this one about just having that, you know, just being, you know, having that inner child, embracing that inner child. So whatever this is, you will handle it. You will handle it. And I feel like you're gonna handle it with a lot of humor and um after you maybe step back a little bit from from whatever this is okay hope that makes sense my capricorns but my capricorns as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye